Pampers Gino again. Um, tonight is flower shop night uh, as we're going through the catalogue. Um, I love this set. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's a shame they retired the petite petal one because they went together so well. Um, but uh, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. And then tomorrow is the jar of love. Ooh, so maybe tomorrow anyway. If not, I'm gonna might. I got it. I got the new smitten mitten out of the catalogue. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Uh, it was one of them sets I said I wasn't going to buy, but uh, I had a qualifying order, so I got it half price. Uh, there it is. Beautiful little set. And I had the bunny book, which was 42 25 and I got it for £21.12. Absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna, I might have a play with this one. Um, but look at that. Beautiful cards you can do with it. Absolutely beautiful. So I will. The next one I do out the catalogue will definitely be the Jar of Love anyway. So I will be following through the catalogue right till it changes next June. <laughs> so I have. I saw something very similar. It's not exactly the same. It's very similar to something I saw on Pinterest. Um, I can't, it didn't give me the lady's name. Let me have a look. I lost it now. Uh -huh. No, no name. I do apologise. So if it, if you see this video and you think, oh, it's pretty much like yours, I do apologise and thank you. But uh, look, isn't that... I've used the layering leaves and we've done loads of sponging again and then faded it out. And I've um, used vellum and white embossing powder. And I just add it with my little gel, white gel pen. It doesn't work on the cardstock until you've put ink on it. But then I just scribbled on some tiny little flowers, some dots, just down that side to break it up. But I like it. I really like it. And you could choose any colour you wanted for this, any colour at all. Leave your vellum flowers white and sponge any colour. So every single one of Stampin' Up! colours would look beautiful. Maybe even black, but who knows? And then I've chose a little thanks. It's not really, it's a big thanks, but I'm making thank you cards. And I didn't want to overpower this with um, a huge sentiment. So I've found this lovely little one in one big meaning. Absolutely beautiful set as well. So I'm going to show you how I made this card. Oh, I loved it. I really enjoyed it. So you're going to need a normal standard card. And I'm using white you could also pick a different card color coordinate with the ink uh, if you wanted to but i'm going to leave a bit more white showing on this one uh, i just basically want it to fade from one end to another and i'm changing colors um, i'm doing this one in crushed curry so there's my card for later you're going to need a piece of vellum, just big enough for your flowers, basically two inches. This one's by six and a half, but it was just a piece I had spare, so I cut it down to two inches, because I know that's what you need. And then you're going to need a card front, which I've got a fair few cut here. Yes, oh, nice. And these are three and seven eighths by five and... Three and seven eighths by five and five eighths, yeah just to give me that little white board all the way around. And what we're using is this lovely thick, uh, te it's called layered leaves, and it's one of those really thick dynamic ones. So keeping your words up, I'm gonna pop this in. Because this is slightly smaller, I'm gonna get them leaves all the way around, absolutely beautiful. And so I'm gonna bring in the big shot. And you only need one cutting plate with this. And you don't even have to layer it underneath. As long as you make sure you put your folder in through this edge, the grooved edge, and just send it through. And I go there. And then I come back. And that's it. I've heard people say you've got a spritz of your card to loosen it up and all that. But look, look how beautiful that is. 
You can have the debossed or the embossed side. It's entirely up to you. Lovely folder. And then we're just going to now do a bit of sponging. I do apologise, I've got sniffles. I think I've got a cold coming, so I'm going to have a swig of my coffee. I always tend to be first thing in the morning, last thing at night with me. So I'm going to get my daubers. And thank you uh, to the lovely Angela. Oh, sorry, Jeannie. Oh, see, I'm terrible with names. Um, she gave me some sheets, but it's slightly too big, my darling. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the same grid line, get my measurements, and I'm going to pop one in and I'm going to daub and put their names because I've got no neutrals, regals, subtles and brights. But I'm using the crushed curry dabber. Fetch my ink in. And I'm just going to pop my vellum out the way for a moment because I don't want to get anything on. There's my little dauber. And I'm just going to add. And I'm basically concentrated. I'm going to see which way these leaves run. I don't suppose it matters, but... Uh, I like the swirls and um, I'm going to start, I'm just going to get as much ink on this as I can and I want to get the darker bits around here and this takes only a few minutes, it depends on how dark you want it, how light you want it fading into, but just swirl it like an arch. The more times you go over, the darker it becomes. It's lovely. I used Flirty Flamingo on the other card. Absolutely striking colour as well. But how quick. It doesn't take long at all. Oh, what a lovely colour. Now, all we're going to do is use what's on the dauber. And I just... Just go round and round. Just follow it round. And the lighter it becomes, the less pressure. And very, very little I'm going to use now. Isn't that pretty? Oh, love it. That's it. How quick was that? I love it. Love, 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 love. I added it a little bit darker all the way over on that one, but I like a little bit of that white showing through, even though it's just gentle. So I'm going to leave that to one side to dry a little bit, making sure I've got it all over my sticky fingers. And I'm going to fetch my embossing buddy in now. And I'm going to stamp those three beautiful flowers in the Samark. And I've got a little mark, which it, to me is the bottom of my, where my flower punch actually um, lines up. I marked them when I first had them, because I remember the first time trying to cut one of these flowers out, and I just couldn't get it to go. And, and I saw a lady then, she did a video, she put her flower into the punch until it fit and then marked the bottom how clever so I did the same so now I'm going to fetch in my embossing powder and do you know what I've had hardly any accidents with this stuff ever since I've been putting them in these little tubs they're fabulous absolutely fabulous and hardly any waste mm. So she goes and flicks it all over her desk. Oh, how dull am I? And if you can hear fireworks going off, they do it so early round here. My little boy wants to uh, go outside and eat them. He just wants to play with them. Did you see that then? All over there. I'm a silly sausage, but luckily for me, this comes up. Wipe it back again. There is a little bit there, nothing much to worry about. 
Oh, see, I'm a silly sausage. I can't believe I just did that then. But I've got a solution for that as well. Pop these up high just for a second. Making sure I've got my beautiful flowers and then absolutely gorgeous. Just going to check. And I think it's so much easier to, it taps off your vellum so nicely. I'm going to pop that out there out of the way. And pop this there just for two seconds. I'm going to get one of my lovely little Swiffer cloths. And I'm just going to wipe it away and it's gone. How fabulous are these Swiffer cloths? Beautiful. There we go. And these are just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I had these off the lovely Catherine Fletcher the other day. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I do apologise. I'm going to fetch the heat to you. I'm going to heat this, this on the opposite side. And you, you'll see when it starts to turn. See it's starting to turn. And there we have it. That didn't take long. Because vellum's so nice and thin, it will heat set from the back. These are beautiful. Beautiful. I'm just going to leave those set just for a second while I pop my embossing buddy away. can't believe I just tossed it all over the side of the flipping. Paper. Oh, I'm a silly sausage, I am. Absolutely silly. So I'm going to pop them up there out of the way. I'm going to fetch this beautiful card. This is dry now, so you can get rid of And I'm just using my ATG gun. And I'm going to attach this to my card base now. Making sure my card opens this way. Pop that down there. Isn't that pretty? Love the colour. Right. Um, now for my flower punch. <laughs> I think I've got upside down. Yeah. Yeah. And there she is. There's my flower and she just pops right out. Be beautiful. Punches are so precise, they are absolutely wonderful. Perfect. Please bring back the petite petals. I love that set. I've still got it and I will still use it, but uh, oh my little grandson today, bless him. And his little bike caught his wheel inside of a manhole cover that was open. 
He's only four, but I smashed all his face up. Oh, poor little mite. Yeah, council. Only a little one like that, but there was wheel wen in it, and over he went, smashed his face on the flipping handlebars, bless him. So I'm just going to take my bone fold and gently, only a gentle little curl. You can go as hard as you want, but you don't want too much height when you're posting these, because they look absolutely stunning when they're all done, and before you have to post them. Then they tend to get a bit flat then in the post. So you have to tell your recipient to just give them a swoosh up and I will come back to life. Yeah, so my daughter had him at the hospital. He smashed all his chin, his teeth went through his bottom lip. Poor little bit. Poor little thing. Oh, oh he, was, he went into a state of shock as well, bless him. He's autistic, see. And he doesn't understand all the things that we do. He's beautiful. There we go. One little flick on each pet and look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to add a little rhinestone to each of the centres. Oops. I've got springy ones today. Pop them right in the centre. Oops. Love it. Perfect. And then I'm going to pop a little dimensional on the back. Because of the bell on, you only need a little one. And that flower covers perfect centre of that flower. Oh, I'm loving making these thank you cards and I can't wait to send them all out. Fabulous. So what I did, I dressed, I carried the flowers going round. So let's start out here with the first one. Round here for the second. And then about there. For the third, put my little bits away. Absolutely beautiful. Then I took my clear wink of Stella and I just went over these beautiful petals. Nice and gentle, you can see them sparkling. It's absolutely beautiful. And now colour will run here because we didn't use colour on the flowers. Just around the base. Oh, I had a uh, sort out this afternoon. I, my boxes were overflowing with all the cards in from the challenge. See, it starts to kill the paper a little bit as well. And I counted every single one. And we have 962 cards oh my word 38 more we've got a thousand can't believe it we've still got five days to go as well so do you think we'll make the thousand mark oh i hope so that would be amazing absolutely amazing and perfect to add that lovely little glimmer on there they be beautiful absolutely beautiful then I took my little word gel pen and I just did some stars like this, added a dot on each one. Um, I just added some dots here, there and everywhere and then some little squiggly lines with leaves on. I'm, tight. I'm no artist, trust me. No way in this world. I'm just doing little round circular dots. Make it look like a flower. I'm definitely, definitely not an artist. Adding dots, I am, and lines, basically. 
You can do whatever you want it. They're pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Circles. Stems. Leaves. Little love hearts even. That's beautiful. That one doesn't look like a love heart, does it? Like just anything. Just squiggles even. Add some dots. And just to break that colour up, I think. Tie it, see what you do. I'm just having a little doodle. Be bad. Um. I don't know, just some little tiny flowers. It's up to you. You can go to your card. You make it how you want. Tiny little doodles, that's all. If you want, just add some little stars. Some little kisses. It's just a break up that border around that. I enjoy doing that anyway. So it's a cute, it's up to you, it's adding details, it's entirely up to you. I just have a, I like having a mess around. So I'm going to take this beautiful stamp that says a little thanks. I've got a piece of scrap here, as you can tell I used it earlier. I'm using my Tuxedo. I love this ink. It tends to come off your rubber stamps and it doesn't leave so many stains as the... Isn't that pretty? Loving it. <laughs> and we've got the classic label punch. I love punches. I love my thinlets and framelits, but give me a punch any day. He wants to get a machine out just to do that. When you could just use a punch. It's fabulous. I'm going to add some tiny dimensionals to this. And uh, I think, what if we don't make a thousand? I think I'll make a couple of extras to, just to bump it up to a thousand. It was that close, so. 962, it's 38 more cards. We won't get it post tomorrow, so I'll leave four days. And then we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Oh wow. Let's see if we can manage this. Upside down. And now just pop your little message into your card. And there we have it. Oh, I love it. That would look lovely in dapper denim. Fading out, that would be beautiful. It'd look lovely in any colour, but they're my cards, my darlings. I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up would be great. A share would be amazing. And if you want to see any future videos, press the subscribe button and the little bell straight away. And that way you'll get to see everything else I pop on uh, my channel so but thanks for watching till next time bye